Alright guys, we have huge news today. GTA just released the GTA Online Kyle Perico Heist official trailer. So let's get right into this trailer, boys. This the right place for the party? Can we post? Is there a hashtag? We're all here because of one man. You're not on the mainland now, huh? Anything goes! <laughs> I've seen him going in like a trout, chasing some supermodel down the beach on a panther, mate. I didn't understand a word of that. Lots of guards, high-tech security. I need someone to rob it. You're obviously going to need a submarine. Let's try and come out of this with all of our ears and a bit of suntan. Alright, now after watching the trailer, in the Rockstar Newswire, they also gave a brief description of the trailer. Kyle Perico is not only the nerve center of El Rubio's drug empire, but the island also plays host to his other great love, marathon dance parties on golden beaches, where everyone from jet setters and Harris's to legendary music producers gather to rave until the sun comes up. But away from the beach's earthly delight lies an untold fortune in art, gold, and drug money scattered across the island. It's the score of a lifetime for those who can find a way in. Alright, so this basically confirms that the heist will have the three different targets. Uh, Like, you know, the casino heist had the gold, the diamonds, the art, and the just the cash. This heist will also have probably three different components of it where it'll just be a gold heist and then there'll be a drug money heist and then there'll be an art heist as well. It's similar to the way the Diamond Casino did it. So there is some replayability to it. Hopefully these three different uh you know assets you gain from the heist, you know, like the rewards, they come with three different approaches. That's my guess. I don't know yet though, but this is just a theory. Hopefully it is true. All right, now moving on to the next paragraph. The Cayo Perico heist is the biggest GTA online adventure ever and will be available on December 15th. All right, guys, this basically means we're not getting drip fed the content of the DLC. It seems like the DLC will have everything ready on launch day where you don't have to wait for like three months or whatever to get the actual big beefy part of the DLC, the part you actually want to play. It looks like they're going to be giving us everything at once, just to like stuff our mouths in and, you know, <laughs> enjoy. Stay tuned for more details and check out the lineup for the Music Locker, Los Santos' hottest new underground club that's opening soon. All right, it's opening soon in bold. So this is my theory. I'm just taking a guess. We're going to be probably getting the Music Locker on Thursday, December 12th, three days early er, for the DLC, because Thursday is when they usually do their weekly update, and they want to at least gather some talk, you know, just to talk about something besides just this trailer, but to talk about, like, the, the Music Locker and what, it, just for us to look at, have fun with, play around. That's just my guess, because they always update their game on Thursdays every week, and the last two weeks have been the same update. So hopefully, when they say the Music Locker is opening soon, it's opening on this Thursday. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts, feelings about this DLC. Hopefully, the submarine they show in the trailer isn't one that you have to buy, and it's just one that you have to like, you know, steal for the heist. Sort of like the machine that drills underneath the casino. Hopefully that is the case. I'm crossing my fingers because that submarine looks like a pricey son of a bitch if you do have to buy it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And be sure to check out my trailer breakdown, which is going to be released in like two hours or so from the upload of this video. Alright guys, thanks again. Peace.